hi guys you're welcome back now today i'm going to be showing you what you expected to do um in this light experiment the experiment um will be testing you on mirror rotation now there are actually two different experiments i'm going to be showing you on this which i believe that um one of them must have to be related to what you're going to see in your exams now in this particular experiment we are going to be using a plane mirror a plane mirror the dimension actually is not so necessary and then you will be needing a protractor to do this because we will measure angles a, a meter rule is, is also necessary you need four optical pins a plain sheet of paper and then a drawing board and of course your pencil now I'm going to show you um, this first one what you will be expected to do in case um, your questions are under angle of rotation now while we do that I'll also show you the other type so that you will be balanced so anyone you see you can be able to handle it so let us go straight to the experiment so the first thing we are expected to do is, of course, to fix the drawing paper firmly. You can see with the thumb tax provided, fix the drawing paper on the drawing board. And after that, you now place the plane mirror horizontally on the drawing paper and trace its outline. We are going to draw, draw the outline before we could be able to. When you finish drawing the outline, then you mark the midpoint of the meter uh, of the glass so here i've been able to trace the outline of the plane mirror and it gave me 15 and then i'm expected to find the midpoint of that 15 which will give me 7.5 so that's the dot you're seeing at the center there so at that point i'm going to find the normal so i'm going to use my protractor with my protractor, I would balance my protractor at that particular point and draw a, a normal to that particular point. All right, so here is the normal. I've been able to draw my normal. I'm labeling all this so that it will be easier for me. Now, the next thing I'm going to get is to, um, or I'm meant to do is to find the angle. Now, it can come in two ways. They can ask you to find the angle of incidence a line that will draw which will be the angle of inc the incident ray the, if the angle is towards the normal you record it if the angle is towards the block you record it this time i'm going to be using an angle towards the block 10 degrees to the block so i'm going to draw a line that will make 10 degrees with the block not the normal so as you can see here i balanced my protractor um appropriately what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to mark this point 10 here. You can see from zero. I'm reading from zero now, from the from the uh, glass. I'm I'm going to mark point 10 here, and then I'll draw the line. All right. So, so here is what I have. I've drawn the, the the line. The line. The new line X Y um, is 10 degrees from M N. Now, in according to this, uh, the. Uh, for this particular demonstration, I'm going to put, put two pins um, at, along AB. I'm going to put two pins along AB. One and two pins along AB. And put the mirror on XY and then view to see the image formed. Put the pin up and then balance the mirror on this new line, which is 10 degrees from the, the initial outline. And now look from this particular direction and find um, the point where all the pins align and then I'll draw the line. All right, now if you look very well, you will see that all the points, all the distance have aligned in a straight line. My pins, look at four of them there. You can see four of them from this side. You can see four of them from here. Now at this point, at my eye level here, all the points are aligned in a straight line so i'm going to draw the line so here is the outcome you can see the line drawn and the angle theta recorded this angle is actually represented as phi in the question so the summary of what i've done now is that when phi is equal to 10 
the theta that I got, I measured this angle here and it gave me 26. So when phi is equal to 10, then theta is equal to 26. So this is the first one. So you will now be expected to repeat the experiment for different values of phi. In this particular demonstration, the repetition will be across 15, 20, 25, and 30 degrees. In each case, I would have to always measure theta. Now, depending on how much you know to manage your space, you could do all in one place. Or if you have um, um, an A3 paper like this, you, and you want to do it one after the other, you could do um, the six of them separately. Mm, but if you can be able to put all of them together without interference, then you could go ahead and, and do that. Yeah. For me, I'll do all of them together, and I'll show you what uh, will be the outcome immediately now so let me show you that all right so this is the outcome of what you have um the drawings and then the compilation or let, rather let me show you the table so this is what um, the table looks like for every given value of theta the corresponding value of phi and then you'll be expected to plot a graph of theta against phi or as the case may be, anything that the examiner deems fit to test you on. So if I plot the graph, this is what the graph gave me. So this is a summary of the graph. It's a straight line graph. A straight line graph, you could see that almost all the points entered through. Hence, um, you'll be expected to state the law of reflection. You should be also expected to state applications of plain mirrors. And of course, you should also know how to, um, to deduce the angle of a rotation. You just go and read up the topic reflection and everything that concerns mirrors uh, because your test will really come from there. So this is the first case um, of the practical. I'll be sending the second case for you shortly so that you could see how different it is. Although, although that one looks a little bit complex than this. So while conducting this experiment, ensure that you take adequate precautions all necessary and know that you are going to be submitting this trace. So your names will be written on it. You write your name and then you submit it along um, when you are submitting your question paper. I think that will be all for now. Thank you very much.